Hey up YouTube and good morning. I am in a car park. I have been in a car park for two days because um yeah, well, I'm in New Mexico and my gearbox has been whining for a few thousand miles. I changed the oil, oil when I was at Adventure with Maud, but as you see, it's kind of... There's my transfer box and there's no gearbox. So it's a bit of a mess at the minute because of uh, stuff everywhere. Turn around because I'm still sleeping in it, so I still need it. And I can't put all the stuff in the back, so I have to move stuff about. Yeah, but basically the gearbox, it wasn't broken. It was the... I reckon that the some of the bearings were on the way out, so it was whining when it was like 65 miles an hour. It was, that, it was whining quite bad. And I changed the oil about a month ago no uh when i was in colorado so a couple of thousand miles ago uh, when i drained the oil out because it had done best part of twenty thousand since i changed it last i changed the oil and it had more glitter and gary glitter did uh, which is probably not appropriate but yeah so it had lots of glitter in it and it wasn't just brass uh, from the synchros it was also metal as well. So I'm pretty sure the case had and had gone on some of the bearings. So eventually I, I did a few thousand more miles, uh, changed the oil thinking it might help. It helped a little bit, but it was still there. So I ended up, there's a, a Land Rover dealers, uh, not a main dealers, but there's a Land Rover dealer in New Mexico, in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And when I was at the Overland show, the some of the guys up there at the, uh, the Land Rover place up there saying they send all their gearboxes to this place in New Mexico, so they have the parts, they know what they're doing, and they're good at what they do. So, this is why I drove a couple of thousand miles down to New Mexico. Well, I was going to New Mexico anyway, but this is why I wanted to go here anyway to uh, to see this. Uh, so, I'm here now. Uh, I took the gearbox out yesterday morning. Uh, took it to them, which is a few hundred yards up the road. If I can't stay in their yard, insurance purposes. But I'm stayed at a camp, uh, car park here, uh, and it's a tin can alley place. But this big building here is a, a climbing wall gym, and they own the car park, and they're quite nice, nicely and happily let me use their shower and toilet and use their car park to take my line over in bits. Just put it on time lapse putting it back in. So yeah so poorly gearbox couple of days that's fine in it. I'm gonna say it's save on the uh, fifty dollars a day but it's costing me because it's an R three eighty stumper. So it's costing me $1,300 to get rebuilt, it is what it is. And lucky I had a spare release bearing as well because that's that was not very good. So let's get another one of them later on. Right, see you in a bit. Bye bye. <laughs>
good morning YouTube. Uh, as some of you may already know, I've had a bit of a poorly gearbox, there's bearing going. I'm in Albuquerque. So if you're in ever in Albuquerque and you need a Land Rover, as if your Land Rover needs break broken or you need to mend it, we shall do a quick. So this is Southwest Rovers in Albuquerque. And I'll just show you the telephone number there, look. There we go. So if you have any issues uh, with the Land Rover, as you can see, we have quite a few here, Defenders, Series, what you need, Santana up there, Mended. Or you need a gearbox, transfer box. Uh, engine, maybe not so diesel, but an engine that these guys can help. That really helps me. Uh, I pulled in here, took my own gearbox out, uh, took my own gearbox out, and they did it in a car park up the road. And they turned the gearbox around within 24 hours. So this is a bit, a bit of a workshop, but if you ever come. Stick it on that. Come and say hello to South and West Rovers. As you can see, engines, gearboxes, transfer boxes, all what comes. Hopefully, if you need a one rover thing, come here. Catch you later. Bye. We're in a town called Aztec. It's pretty cool. So, this is what I'm here to see. to go to the side. Oh, can they look the beauties? God, they take some uh, craft in that size. Requiring planning and an organized cohesive workforce. Without wheels or pack animals, the builders carried stone from over three miles away and long strips of green stone inlaid as part of some walls. 
In less than 30 years, the builders turned three acres of open land into a complex of structures. They constructed more than 400 rooms, some stacked three stories high. Let's go. As you can see, these are the ruins here. And we're not actually allowed to go inside. We've got to stay on the path. Honest, we will stay on the path. Definitely. Enter one way. Oh wow. Wow, this is super super cool. Just keep us alive, it's gonna be quiet. But there's nobody here but me. Sand in my foot now. So that's the fire pit. Uh, and the smoke goes all there. Very cool. So I don't know how to build them. Is they use wood as well as the bricks to hold them all together. Opposite ways. Quite clever. That's the original steps going on up there. So each one of these, I thought it was a walkway round, but it's not. They're just all little rooms. So, I have to uh, do what number six is. So I'm presuming number seven, we go through here. God, there must have been midgets in them days. Fascinating. I just used whatever we could. And for the top of the lentils. <laughs> Good. Well. Uh, uh, this is the gutter. The rain to come out. That's cool. Press 
the card would help. So, I'm guessing this is a well. Because all these bits coming in off the roofs. So all the water coming on the roofs when it rains will fill this up. That's a theory. Whether I'm right is when I read the book. That's what that is. But I don't know. It's fascinating though, but if anybody ever did a price of if they were living in things like this. Definitely wondered what they, uh, they did. But yeah, massive building. Really massive. Yeah, let's go on the path. Oh, 15 minutes. like the center of the wall. Yeah. Let's see what number 15 is quick. Not really because I haven't got my glasses so
structure. That's quite an impressive place with all the roofs and that on. Because it's not just down below, as like I walk through all that. It is a, a layer above as well. There's possibly there could be even another layer above that, so it's quite impressive. You know that, so there probably is three levels. A different line of. Uh, I wonder if that's just artistic license. How they've uh, put the uh, a line of down through. Yeah, it's going to be fun reading the book because I hate reading and recording myself because I sound stupid. Let's go. Hope. Oh. goes right over there as well. I wonder how much we haven't un uncovered. That's still hidden. Must be an awful lot still buried somewhere. Grange or stuff, which you uh, probably for different jobs. Cool, it's some Aztec ruins, and it is very cool in a place called Aztec. Coincidence, anyway. So, I shall see you later. I better do an intro, aren't I really? Because I haven't done one yet, so I forgot. Dope! Mate, I'll see you in a bit. Bye de bye!